So hey guys, I'm just uh, making a quick video today in response to a video I saw on Crockett Outdoor Adventures channel today with him reviewing a uh, Altoids stove. And I saw it with a uh, you know, similar concept to this little BB tin with the screws and everything. And uh, burning wood to boil water and it got me thinking, I've been wondering if this pine sap would boil water for a while. So I got just about a cup and a half, two cups in my Stanley stainless thermos here that I carry on the trail all the time and boil my water in. And then there's just a nice big fat chunk of pine sap that we just collect as we go. This stuff's a little older so it's a little more dry, pretty dark. Fresher stuff's usually a little more clear. But yeah, so I'm just going to see how long it takes to about to boil this. You know, a cup and a half, two cups, that's usually about what I'd put in a mountain house meal, so see how that goes. Alright, I had to charge the camera up there for a second. <laughs> so, yeah, this stuff works great. Catch the flame easy. I just pull it up into a little cone shape. I just put that right in the water, huh? Yeah, that's good. So, I mean... It's not much bigger than a uh, candle flame at the moment. As it gets burning, it might it picks up a little bit. <laughs> I use this stuff too. Uh, you know, put a, take a small glob, put it on a stick, light it real quick with your lighter or whatever you know if you got it and you can just throw it under your fire pile and it works great it's just you know a long burning you know extender so you don't have to sit there with your lighter underneath wasting gas and everything else burning your hand <laughs> we also use this in another video up at bear mountain where uh you're not allowed to have campfires so we wanted a little, a little tiny fire just to Warm my hands up and have some smoke to keep the bugs away. Just stuck this on the rock and let it. Thought about trying to boil something with it then, but never did. But I thought this was a good idea on the Altoid stove I saw on his channel today with the just putting the screws on it. And they seem to work out pretty good. I just put them inside, just right to the bottom, put it inside the case so it holds up properly. You can see the flames starting to build up good now. There's still a uh, Nice big old chunk of sap in there. It hasn't burned away the mound or anything yet. It takes a while. So, slow going so far. Luckily there's still a nice big ball of pine, pine sap. It's been eight minutes so far. So it's taking a little longer than I'd like to, but it's starting to get a few bubbles down at the bottom. Can't really see them on the camera yet. I'm waiting for it to get to a nice rolling boil. But, yeah, I mean, luckily that pine sap lasts as long as it does. It's still a whole nice big chunk in there. Under optimal conditions, it probably would work a little better too if you had like an actual shield around it, you know, put some rocks around it or whatever. Just a test. Alright, so, have to say, failure. <laughs> 20 minutes exactly. I had bubbles at the bottom, but it just would not boil. Could not get a rolling boil. Pine sap went out like right at 20 minutes. See it pretty much just turned it down into a coal compared to what I had originally. Never had to touch it or do anything with it. It stayed burning the whole 20 minutes so if anything it's a good test to see how long that pine sap would burn but yeah I don't know if this just needed more shielding for you know less wind and everything. It's a cold rainy day. I don't know if conditions weren't good for it but I'll have to try it again one day. As of now, that did not work. <laughs> well, thanks for watching.